we have a lot to cover today in breeding and racing. What I managed to do as well is go back through all the race results. If you do remember, I bred, I think there was five babies from Leo Storm two years ago and they raced at my friend's loft. So stay through to the end because I'm gonna show you those results. Let's get into this video. start off in the weaning section basically we've got a uh, few coming in now this I don't even know how many are in here I've started to wean out a few more you'll notice that there are some of the inbred dorm babies in here and there's also a few other Vanderbox that have come in in the last few days so we just brought these three in yesterday so basically we've got one of Storm's babies we've got a Vanderbolt and then we've got another one of Storm's babies up there that one's got our special race ring on it you see the blue one so that's um one what we will be racing um and we'll watch the other ones this one's looking a little bit off after keep an eye on him i don't know just make sure he's eating and drinking and things like that um another nice little vanderbolt here as well he was one of the ones that was fostered under the high flyers and he looks really good and you'll notice that storm's over here now as well split her up from the red cock she's just going to hang out in here for a bit before we move on to our next phase she really hasn't raised too many babies she's had it pretty easy this season and i've got some plans for her coming up as well with a few other hens but they need a little bit of a break basically everything in here is the second round of basically young birds we've got two sections we've got the older ones mixed in with some of the older ones they're doing really well and we've got all these younger ones here that we're weaning out so basically that's all of them apart from storm and we still have uh, a whole bunch more to come maybe like another 10 or 10 or so to come across into here and then we're done and then we can start sort of trap training these guys and everything but they're all looking pretty good and there's some really nice little young birds in here these two here the babies have been weaned out they had the um, storm babies and the ones we just seen before in the loft I took their eggs away as well and I'm gonna move these two over to the race loft I'm just trying to get all these birds especially ones like this we've been using that we can and we will race back over into that loft locked in getting them fluent around the loft hopefully get them all toss training around about the same time and we're just waiting on these two little babies to wean out as well there's an inbred leah and an inbred storm in there as well so once they're out this cockbird here the blue bar he's going to go over into the race loft because he's a little bit he's like a two-year-old so he's going to be really good um test and we've got a little shock here we'll have um, some other plans for her so she's um pretty useful so we'll continue with her i'll keep that a secret until um that time comes and there's been some changes in here as well i've taken the hen out that's in here they're all done with breeding so that hen's back over in the flying loft and getting her locked into that loft as well i think there's only one more hen in here maybe that needs to come out and that's the blue bar hen up in here so she'll come out as well once she's finished with these guys. Let's have a look at these guys anyway. Oh, Titan, you are a big fella. Just nearly knocked me out. Um, they're raising up the tiger grizzles. So we've got a tiger grizzle here and also a blue grizzle. So it's probably another blue tiger. We did lose the other one we had um, around the loft. Um, you guys will be pretty happy to see that we got one coming back. So there's another blue grizzle here, probably a blue tiger. And we've got a nice black tiger here as well, which is um, my favorite. So we'll see how we go with that. More tigers coming, which is good. Definitely want to get some colour in the race team, but the tigers are pretty easy because they're a dominant. But not too much going on here. We're just winding down breeding. So basically all these babies will be weaned out soon. Tiger grizzles, she's close to laying a second egg. Or first egg, or another round, sorry. And um, I'm going to foster, float her eggs under the high flies anyway because I'm considering splitting these guys up now. I've got a few rounds out of them and doing a little bit more changing. Got some storm babies here as well. Storm to the red checker cock. I put it under my barless hen because she's just a good little mother. Look at her. And uh, they're coming along quite nice. Maybe, maybe a red one in there. Maybe not, we'll soon see. You're a good girl, aren't you? You're gonna get your chance to breed soon, but you're just a good little foster mother. And we've got one more baby under here, which is, um, I've got one of these, a son of hers over in the other lot. She tends to just have one egg. Um, but her son is really surprisingly good. He flies the most around the loft, has done for quite a while. He's always in those good bunch. And he just really surprised me on the training tosses. So I'm interested to see how they fly. So we've got one little baby here. Um, maybe another round, uh, probably not. It's getting a bit late now. Uh, so they might just do that. And then 83, which is her partner, he'll go over into the flying loft as well. 
And all I'm waiting on now is just for these few just to wean out, which is there's two in there, two over in there, and then they've got the tiger grizzle up the top there. Once these guys are done, we're going to move them over to the loft. So there's another five into the loft, plus all the other ones you've just seen in the other loft, which will probably take us up to around about 70 birds by the time we bring the older ones back over as well, which is not a bad sized team. I may consider pairing up this little yellow hen to my red Vanderbilt cock checker that I've got over there just so we can breed some splits. We'll see how we go. I'm still 50-50 with it. If not, she can stay in here for the time being. She might be paired up to that red beside her. She, you haven't really seen him much before, but he's a staff fan root. He came with that hen, so he might turn up being a foster for the time being. Because over the race season, over the next few months, I'm gonna do a little bit more fostering. I wanna breed a lot more tiger grizzles like this guy, um, just so we've got a few more to breed with in the coming season. Because the biggest problem I had this year was not having enough breeders. I wanna do all my breeding in like one or two rounds. I want it done in like under two months, basically. I just wanna get over and done with here. It's been like four or five months, which is far too long. Um, so that is our plan. I'm going to breed a few more sneaky breeding pairs, come with a little bit of inbreeding maybe. You're going to see anyway in a minute why I focus so much on the Leon Storm as um, the foundation because uh, they've done reasonably well so far. Okay, the results of those birds. We bred around about five birds I gave to my friend to race. He's a front marker, so he's about uh, 90, 85, 90 kilometres further that way. So he's right at the front of the race. Uh, we brought back one of these, so there was only four racing. We brought back 2477, seven, which is um, the hen that we paired with Shock. She um, was with the clock bird all the time, consistently, so I brought her back and we were just left with either three or four, actually. A bit hard to get the results here. I think one might have got lost early on, so we ended up just racing three. So out of a season and a half, the results we got from 2468, 2466 and 2469, which are the birds that are there, we got one second, three thirds, one fourth, uh, one sixth, one seventh, two eighths, one ninth, one eleventh and one thirteenth. So those three birds basically got all them in a season and a half of racing. Some of those birds are still around and my friend's breeding off them, that's fine. That was raced in two different federations. So they raced in two different lines over that time. My friend was in two different federations and he just chopped and changed whichever races he liked, um, which is it's just cool. That's, it's a really good test of the birds. So they were racing one federation between like 150 to 250 birds and then the other federation was up to 1300 birds. So the other federation had done pretty well. So they've done like overall out of three birds over a season and a half racing mostly all those races. They had some pretty good results from three birds. That's why you'll find most of these birds here are some variation of Leon Storm. There's all sorts of mixes. And that's why I brought in the Vanderbolts as well, just to get a bit of speed. The birds are all right, reliable, they turn up, but just need that little bit of extra speed, which I'm hoping the Vanderbolt crosses will bring to these birds. We'll see how we go. We are in right at the very back, so we're a back marker. Yeah, we'll see how we go. And just to summarize, basically, we're just trying to get all the birds back into these lofts so we can loft fly them and training will be happening in the next two months, maybe. So we need to start getting them ready for tossing and then racing starts shortly after that. Most of these birds are young birds, so I'm gonna stop them probably around 480, 500 kilometers, not gonna push them too far, and then we'll see how we go from there. And one of the other takeouts of this video as well is trying to make sure um, we have enough breeding pairs for this coming breeding season, which realistically isn't that far away. I wanna try and get 20 pairs, I think, this season, so that we're, it's just over and done with really quickly, and we do have some pairs set aside for the one loft races because this year our timing wasn't right, but next year we're going to hit those one lofts pretty hard with some of those Leo Storm birds, and um, we'll just see where we are from there. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think.